When I opened the door, more water rushed in and all of my stuff flew out and like it just kept coming in. All I could grab was my wallet and my phone. That's all I knew to grab. Our town is destroyed and uh, it hurts. I had to save a guy's life right here. I, uh, he was hanging onto a telephone pole and I, uh, I got a rope. I heard him, he was, he was out there for about 30 minutes. You just see the water come up, come up, come up, making sure that all our family is safe. We just kept looking at the water and it just kept getting higher and higher from 4 in the morning to 7 in the morning. We prayed a lot and um, we just praised God and he, you know, we were rescued. So we're very thankful. Hey, come, 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 come. There's this sense of sadness that they have left behind, some of them, homes that they fear will not be there when they get back. But they realize they made a wise decision by putting their life first and protecting their life, knowing that they can always go back and rebuild.